Welcome to Ash Wednesday. It's the beginning of our Lenten journey that leads us to Easter. It's the beginning of a 40-day long passage, and every year is just a little different. Last year, you might remember, we gathered for Ash Wednesday with a group of disciples and folks from all kinds of churches from all over the city. We're all in this space. And we have little seed packets. If you remember, we talked about blooming where you were planted. Boy, we did not realize how true we were, that we would need the patience of seedlings and the willingness to stay rooted where we were. This year's journey is a little different. We are proclaiming that spring is on its way, and that even though there is goodness and hope and new life and resurrection at the end of the journey, we know that all change is loss, and that for us to experience resurrection, we have to go to the cross with Jesus. So today, we begin that Lenten journey with Ash Wednesday. If it's still early enough, I would invite you to actually swing by the church in our parking lot, either from noon to one or six to seven, where I will have ashes just like these. Those burnt up reminders of our praise and proclamation all of those promises to God, all of those hopes that we had in the past that we need to offer up to God. To remember that after all, we are dust, and to dust we shall return. This is both a reminder of our mortality, but it is also a reminder that even when things appear out of control, even when things appear like they are on the verge of death, God is making new life and new beginnings. And that even in the messes and the burnt places of life, God can find new ways for blessing. After all, that's what our series, Bless This Mess, is all about. We'll be talking about it every Sunday, and you can join us online, and you can also take one of these Bless This Mess bags to carry you through your Lenten season. We'll have them at our drive through Blessing of the Ashes. There's a scripture I want to share with you, this time from the Message Translation. It comes from the prophet Isaiah. It's a common reading, and it's one that's suggested this year for Ash Wednesday. This is God speaking to God's people. Do you think this is the kind of fast that I'm after, a day to show off your humility, to put on a pious long face and parade around solemnly in black? Do you call that fasting? A fast day that I, God, would like? Now, this is the kind of fast day I'm after. To break the chains of injustice. Get rid of exploitation in the workplace. Free the oppressed. Cancel debts. What I'm interested in seeing you do is sharing your food with the hungry. Inviting the homeless poor into your homes, putting clothes on the shivering ill-clad, being available to your own families. Do this, and the lights will turn on, and your lives will turn around at once. Your righteousness will pave your way. The God of glory will secure your passage. Then when you will pray, God will answer. You'll call out for help, and I, the Lord, will say, Here I am. I think we all need the reminder that God is here with us, even in the middle of the messes, and that God doesn't necessarily need our religiousness or our piousness. 
God wants us to live the freedom and the goodness and the hope of a world built on love and resurrection. And so this Ash Wednesday, that we are not alone, that our actions do matter, and that even in the middle of our messy lives, there is a space for blessing to take root.